what is ideal diet to their children and what is safe because many parents are uh, are afraid that um, if they their children eat just fruits just fruits and veggies and mother's milk it won't be safe for them so what is the science behind that what what is your advice it's based it, on the science it's, it's the reason it's such a good question marina is because i get it asked it so many times me too um you know, one can stand and try and teach the science of human nutrition to the adults. And many times they understand it and they get it and they say, oh, this is what humans are supposed to eat and this is what we need to do. But then they turn around and say, but, but it wouldn't be all right for the children. Now, this is similar to saying, well, I understand that a horse is best grazing naturally on the grassland. Mm -hmm. But obviously, that wouldn't be right for the foal, would it? You know, the foal must obviously be in a stable, being given oats and barley, and it couldn't work for the foal as or well. Or cakes and chocolate. Exactly. No, it is the same thing. What we have to bear in mind with children, and I think this is a very poignant point, is that there is a big difference between trying to convert a child from a standard diet to a raw vegan diet, as opposed to a child who has never known anything but a raw vegan diet. Mm -hmm. Um, that that approach is definitely different not in terms of the nutrition and what the child needs but we need to bear in mind that the the um, the food nutrition is not the only part of that child that we need to cherish and care for we need to be concerned for their emotional state their psyche and their social interaction with their peers and other children uh, they also will have developed in their variably addictions however young they are, if they've already tasted the grains and the false and the sugars and the Coca-Colas and everything else. So the diet stays the same. Um, it is exactly the same as the diet for an adult, except it is in smaller quantities. Having said that, I'm not referring to babe in arms, I'm not referring to tiny toddlers. I'm talking about children from, say, five years old up. Mm -hmm. um, I think the, the process is exactly the same as with adults in terms of the food, but the approach in terms of weaning off the addictions and making them feel that they still fit in amongst their peers is one that needs treating with great delicacy. Mm. Do children until the age of, I don't know, five, six, seven, uh, need more fat in the diet than adults generally? Or I think that it's perfectly appropriate for parents to relax about the fat okay. intake of their children. Mm -hmm. um, fat is in fact vitally important, fatty acids, for the development of their anatomy, not least of which is their neurological system. And I think it's important that they have sufficient fats for their needs to meet, the, you know, to meet the needs of this, and that those fats be of a really high quality, in other words, raw plant fats. Um, children are innately designed to consume a higher percentage of fat than adults, as there is a higher percentage of fat in breast milk than there is in fruit breast milk, milk being the natural source of carbohydrates for infants and children and fruit being the natural source of carbohydrates for adults. And it's shown in the breast milk by its very presence of higher fat that that is a perfectly appropriate intake for a child. Um, I also think that you will find with young children that the combinations of foods um, aren't as much of a problem as they are for someone mm -hmm. older. Um, I have to say, though, too, that I think that if many of us hadn't had such an unhealthy dietary upbringing, we would also tolerate combinations a lot better than we do. <laughs> um, but for a child, certainly, um, to mix a fruit, for example, with a nut mm -hmm. um, would be far less of an, uh, an inappropriate combination than it would be for many adults. Having said that, I wouldn't feed very young children nuts, mm -hmm. um, as it is harsh on their digestive systems when they're very small. And also we have to be wary that some children do suffer from, or some adults mm -hmm. suffer from nut allergies, so we would always introduce those at a slower rate. Avocado is a wonderful food to feed to young ones, and the creaminess of it mm -hmm. um, often is reminiscent of the same creaminess of the breast milk if they've reached a point when they're no longer taking that from their mother. Take my